Yeah. Welcome, Airgun Geeks. I've got Nate from Nate Crony here, and he's going to take us through an amazing little product that he has introduced to the airgun world, actually the firearms world in general, right? Because uh, Only air guns. Only air like guns. Good, clean air. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, so it, it's, we're special. We get the full attention of Nate Crony. And Nate, tell us about your product and why it's special to the airgun world. Yeah, so I've been an air gunner for about 20, 25 years now. So I know the challenges of using chronographs, the different conditions that they work in, they have challenges with. Um, and it just came out of frustration that I couldn't easily chronograph my air rifles. Yeah. So I've made a barrel mounted chronograph, the Nate Crony, this is it here. Um, taking a bit of a different approach. So everyone's gonna be spending a couple of thousand dollars for the rifle putting some good glass on top. Sure. You then want a pump for it, maybe a bottle. The last thing you need is a couple of hundred dollar chronograph. So it had to be, of course, accurate, and it had to be affordable so right. that the average air gunner and the professional will have access to a good chronograph. Sure. So we've taken a different approach. There's no battery, there's no screen. Keeps the cost down, keeps the shipping cost down, the complexity down, makes it ultra rugged. In your back pocket is probably gonna be one of those. Yeah. An Android, plug it straight in there. Phone will power the crony, not a problem. Otherwise, it's just standard five volts USB. So a tiny little USB battery pack, that'll give you about eight to 10 hours. You can use it to charge your phone. Handy to have around anyway. So standard five volts USB power. A phone, uh, you can use a phone, a tablet, anything with Wi-Fi and a web browser. So tablet, a phone, a PC, a laptop. So it's um, agnostic to the device. 100%, Doesn't... 100%, yes. And there's no app to install. So I don't want your data. There's no permissions. There's nothing like that. It is a Wi-Fi connection to the chronograph and it is a web browser. No internet, the crony itself serves up the web page. So the web page comes from the crony. Anything that has a web page and Wi-Fi, you're good to go with. So works on pretty much everything. Um, in terms of accuracy so we have a set of master chronographs mm -hmm. that we have certified by the national measurements institute we have every single night crony is then calibrated from those master chronographs right in terms of the results uh we get around one foot per second variance error at a thousand feet per second so that's far in excess of what are the most commercial chronographs which are normally plus or minus four to five feet per second at a thousand, that's eight feet per second, which for some of the bench rest guys, that's a lot. And that difference, most likely in this application, comes from a combination of your processor speed and the fact that it's optical. Correct. So there's no ambiguity there. You're not you're not trying to pull this out of a signal that's coming back from an RF reflection. You're actually taking a, a light impulse and measuring that time and your accuracy is coming from that frequency. Correct. There is actually a few ways you can detect the pellet. I won't go into details, it's a bit proprietary, but there are some more accurate ways to detect exactly where the pellet is when. So there's a bit of proprietary stuff in that. Uh, but yeah, in terms of using it indoors, outdoors, sun, cloud, fluorescent lights, LED lights, it will work every single time faultlessly. And that's important here too, because your optical but you're completely self-contained. Correct. So you're providing both the source light and the measurement. That's correct. So you've got that controlled, whereas other opticals are relying on ambient lighting or a light kit or something else to provide that. You're you're controlling the whole thing. Exactly, and that's how we get that reliability. As if something comes out the end, you're gonna detect that shot. Uh, and it was, it took a lot to get there. It's not just put a tube with some poles in it. Mm -hmm. It actually took a fair bit of design work to make sure. that ultra reliable on a cold day, a hot day, a sunny day. It, that was trickier. A lot, a lot of painful going to a range, nothing works. Like why pulling my hair out, how to test that, how to simulate those conditions. I, it was an interesting journey. I was in test engineering for 35 years. So I, I, know, I know what you were up against trying to yeah. get a repeatable, accurate measurement and simulated over yeah. iterations which interesting. what's astonishing to me is the price point that you've been able to achieve that at is definitely favorable to the more budget-minded air gunner yeah um we, we deliver that accuracy uh price point is around about 100 us 100 pounds uh is, is the area we're at 
We're using, uh, it is 3D printed, the body of it. Uh, the covers, we have aluminium, aircraft grade aluminium, of course. Uh, covers now, this is the second version of the product. Uh, we're able to 3D print the bodies, which keeps the cost down a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it is shunned a bit in the industry, but with the complex and intricacy, intricacies in the internals, if I was to do a, an injection mold, that's three different molds, three shots, and it's going to like start up cost of forty thousand dollars. That's why three D printing is so cheap. I can make the same product. Three D printing is changing the, the perception of three D printing. You look at what your neighbor here, Buck Rail, has been offering in the three D printed world. I have three D printed products on my website. Yep, people yep. love them. It's it's rapid, quick. When we do a change, right? It's instantaneous. Yeah. We're yeah, not yeah. ripping that tool out of the machine and working on it for a month and, you know, going yeah. through all those gyrations. It's, it's, and it's rapid fire. Interesting. Even though you're sort of printing at home, so we use an adapter system. Um, there's the, the trade off with a muzzle mount, you've got different barrels. So that's a standard half UNF threaded adapter. Um, it's really pretty giving durable. So I hung a piece of wire through this on a threaded rod. I was able to hang 220 pounds, 100 kilos off that adapter before. So almost an eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's the camera that's adding the pounds. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, exactly. So if it's printed in the right material, the right way with a good design, the durability is incredible. Yeah. Um, that's the other thing most don't realize. They think cheap plastic, but as I said, 100 kilos, 220 pounds off that is a surprising result. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So where can they find a big crony, crony? So we hear the Pyramid Cup. So of course, we're a marketplace seller on Pyramid Air. Uh, otherwise, uh, natecrony.com, we ship direct. Uh, it does come from Australia, hence the accent. Uh, we're getting some more retailers around the place. So we've got two retailers in the UK, Shooting Supplies Limited, Vector Air in Australia, Air Rifle Slugs Australia, and Safari Firearms. Um, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Nate, I want to thank you for taking us through the Nate Crony photograph. Absolutely. And sharing that with our viewers. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Pleasure.